Hi my friend and welcome in this new video. Today I would like to show you something very surprising, very interesting to work with and um, a technology by Ircam in Paris. It's a suite of plugin. It actually is two plugins named Dicey and it's um, technology that uses machine learning to analyze sounds and the ID uh, behind this plugin, one of the, uh, of the ID behind this plugin is to improvise with your own instrument or your voice or anything with a song you pre-recorded and analyze. We can go on screen now, the DC plugin, and you can see you have an analyze part here and a synthesize part here. Uh, this morning I recorded um, some cello, I recorded some some peeds, some echo sound, sometimes totally out of tune. Some harmonic playing. Some very strange uh, uh, glissandis. And many sound, type of sound on the cello. Okay. What I do, just put my sound file here and I click on the Analyze. And what Dicey, uh, Dicey um, does actually, it, it analyzes sounds um, around uh, several criteria, um, uh, several, um, what they call it, um, descriptors, and it could be pitch class, I think you can see here, uh, timber, duration, harmonic colors, um, timber, if it, uh, you can have two descriptors. And so here I choose pitch class and timbers. And my ID here, and I have a sound file here, it's, it's sound file from the demo um, um, session uh, of the Dicey teams. And the idea is to use my sound file, my cello playing, and with this sound file you have three um, sax playing and a guitar playing. And the idea is to the sound file I will play here will in a way improvise with my cello playing. Actually, sometimes it really sounds like contemporary music and experimental music, but this is uh, actually an experimental plugin. Okay, it's, it's not to make pop music, as you can hear. Uh, of course, you have some uh, seven setup you can do here in the synthesis uh, tabs here. And uh, for example, you have to play with tre threshold and you have a, a lot of modes and uh, um, to uh, indicate to the computer's way to trigger the sound. So I don't want to talk too much about it because actually I didn't know myself a lot of things about it, but just to listen to what's happened. And here in the behavior uh, sliders, as well, it, what it does, it's um, let the clutch, the class sequence to match exactly what they hear in a, in a um, sound file here. It can be what you play live too and it can be more free. So let's change a little bit and to match more what I play on the cello with a second sound file.
maybe you can hear that some sometimes sounds are you can catch the right note and sound play unison's line unison notes and sometimes of course it, it can't find anything because when i play when i record the cello part i of course i don't think about what the sax in this case we will play it's really in a you, you really need to think it as improvisation and you play with someone and you didn't know what you will do actually so let's try with a third sax um, phrase here sax recording <laughs> So I don't know what you think about it, but um, for me it's opened a lot of possibilities. And um, I have another video, videos, very short videos, where I play live and, um, to the cello on the cello. And, and I want to experiment with it a lot because you have a lot of uh, setup. Uh, for example, in source analyzer, you can analyze the source in different ways. You can um, uh, set the sequence generator to to, to have a, a longer or shorter sequence. You can there is so many things that you can do. You can um, sync the sequence also of a of a synth generator uh, on your tempo. There is many things you can do. You can reverse the sound. There is a lot of um, application. Uh, around this technology, but I like the way to um, improvise with computer, improvise with over sound file that I, oh, let's say, but I like the way to improvise with over sound files, but it can be any sound files, and I think you can experiment with any sounds and see uh, the results. And it's, uh, it's for me because I really love improvisation for this kind of project uh, it's really fun for me and uh, I don't know what you think about it. I don't know what you think about this thing this thing it's uh it's uh for me it's very surprising and it's passionate and uh, I don't know I like it a lot I like it I'm very enthusiastic about it so 
Thank you very much for watching, my friend. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bells and everything. And see you in the next one. Bye.